before its prowess could be unleashed, Soviet advancements in anti-aircraft technology, notably the 65 Divina Sam and the MiG-25 Fokbat, rendered the XB-70 obsolete, leading to its program's drastic During the Cold War's peak, the US and Soviet Union were locked in an intense race to dominate military technology, leading to some of the most innovative yet outlandish aerospace designs ever conceived. Among these, the XB-70 Valkyrie, a high-altitude supersonic nuclear bomber, stands out for its ambition to combine the B-52's payload capacity with the B-58 speed, boasting Mach 3 capabilities. However, before its prowess could be unleashed, Soviet advancements in anti-aircraft technology, notably the S-75 Divina Sam and the MiG-25 Foxbat, rendered the XB-70 obsolete, leading to its program's drastic scale down. This narrative not only showcases the relentless pace of Cold War arms development, but also serves as a cautionary tale for today's military strategists as the U.S. faces new technological rivals like China, highlighting the perpetual cycle of innovation and obsolescence in military technology. A supersonic dream dashed by Cold War realities. The Cold War was a wild era in the development of military technology, especially in the field of aerospace. From nuclear-powered strategic bombers concepts to manned orbital laboratories mull that would have created a permanent military presence in orbit, some of the craziest and most innovative designs were bandied about. Also that the United States could keep ahead of its dreaded Soviet enemy. Some of these concepts even got off the drawing board. Some of these concepts, like the S-71 Blackbird, made a significant contribution to the national security of the United States while breaking just about every flying record of mad. One aircraft in particular continues to boggle the mind. That is the Air Force's concept for what was basically a high altitude supersonic nuclear bomber known as the XB-70. This was the Air Force's attempt to take the heavy payload capacity of the B-52 Stratofortress and marry it to the supersonic capabilities of the B-58 Hustler. Named the Valkyrie and designed by North American Aviation, a defense contractor back in the mid-20th century ultimately became part of Boeing through a series of mergers and acquisition. The XB-70 was powered by six General Electric EG-93 turbojet engines. These engines allowed for 28,800 pounds of thrust. There were also powerful afterburners on the XB-70. In fact, those afterburners were the key to prolonged supersonic cruise speed. Thanks to this and other key aerospace design features like retractable wings and a delta shape, the XB-70 was able to cruise at an astonishing Max 3. Because of this capability, Air Force planners believed that they had a nuclear bomber that could outrun and outfly anything that the Soviets possessed. Sadly, the XB-70 was obsolete before it ever took flight. That's because the Soviets developed an anti-aircraft weapon system that could destroy even the Mach 3 flying XB-70, making whatever other capabilities the bird possessed worthless. In 1955, when her designers first conceived of her, there was nothing in the Soviets' arsenal that could counter the capabilities that the Valkyrie was bringing to any potential fight. The Soviets were so scared of what this strategic bomber could do that they dedicated immense resources to developing and deploying countermeasures against her. 